All right, Essential Graphics, it's the Essential Graphics panel. This is what Adobe calls Premiere Graphics and what everybody just calls Mogerts. This is the new titles. I've got a whole playlist of very detailed, top to bottom uh, tutorials on how to make, control, and animate um, the uh, Premiere Pro graphics. This is the new update, bunch of keyboard shortcuts and some extra options. I'll show you how to uh, uh, use them and how to turn on a keyboard shortcut that isn't turned on by default. Let's have a look. All right, so I'm just going to jump to a spot on my timeline and I'm in the graphics workspace up at the top, which opens the graphics panel on the right hand side. I'll grab the type tool and just click and start typing. This is the new update. And I'll select that. And in the uh, essential graphics, you've got all your typical things like faux bold and faux italic. Um, I, I'm not a fan of faux or fake uh, styles. I like choosing the real typeface, but whatever. Uh, let me just make this larger so we can uh, really see it. Okay. Uh, all caps and small caps and all of that. But the new one is this one here, underline. Click on it and it makes an underline. Uh, you can't control the um, how far that underline goes. It's basically a default uh, setting. There is no keyboard shortcut for this, but if we go into the keyboard shortcuts, which is in the edit menu in on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, keyboard shortcuts, type, underline. Oh, oh yeah, that's the legacy one, which is uh, control U. So Adobe has still kept all the old legacy title around. There's still some people who count on it. And there is a control U for underline style uh, shortcut for that, but we can steal it. So let's grab it here. I'll click inside here. On the Mac, it would be uh, command U usually, but you could use control U. And it's going to tell me that the shortcut is already in use by another application. Um, make subclip. Well, you know what? That command will no longer have a shortcut. Um, I've got a whole tutorial on what subclips are, but this is now removing it from subclips. Click OK. And now, there, Control U. If it's already on, it turns it off. Control U, which is the new update. Yay. Uh, so for some people that are going to be, that's going to be big. Some people I know really like uh, working with underlines on, on type. So now you have that um, uh, feature. Okay, the next is a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts to make working with the Essential Graphics panel easier. When you have a, an Essential Graphics title, a Premier Graphics is, as they call it, a Mogert selected on the right hand side beyond the browse. If you get into the edit, uh, you'll see uh, the choices inside here. And, and I've got one. Uh, this is something that I've just uh, animated. I created and animated this little breaking news title. And you can see it's made up of several uh, parts. It's got the whole top part here, which is the breaking news text, the tab that I drew, and uh, a crop effect. If you haven't been following the updates in the, in the latest versions of Premiere Pro, that crop effect is only affecting that tab. So in the animation, you can actually see there is no tab here because it's being hidden it's underneath that crop effect. And all I do is change the position of the tab and it looks like it's growing out from behind that. If you didn't have that, then the tab would already be sitting there, which would look kind of odd. In this example, it's there, you can't see it, it's underneath the crop. And when it comes up and pops up, it looks like it's growing from behind the title. This is a really typical uh, lower third news kind of, of graphic. Okay, so let's get back to this. So I've got all of these layers. So I've got the top tab, I've got uh, that text right there, that text right there, that text right there, and then a bunch of other uh, graphic pieces. And what a lot of people will do is they like to be able to uh, select the text layer, enable editing on that text layer, 
edit that text and then commit the text, or that basically means I'm finished with the text, get out of there and move on. And that's what these keyboard shortcuts allow you to do. But you still need to at least select one thing in this uh, list. The instructions that I was going by are supposed to select the text even without selecting the layer. And that does not work. But let me walk you through this right now. So I'll grab one of the shapes and, and I want to select the text. So I'll hold down the Control Alt on Windows, Command Option on Mac, and I'll choose the apostrophe. And you can see it's not selecting it. It's supposed to, but it isn't. Every one of these or almost all of these keyboard shortcuts are the command key on Mac, control key on Windows, and then you add things like the option key on window on Mac and the alt key. So command option, control alt. And then you're adding keyboard modifiers. And the bracket key, which some people think is the square bracket key, it's actually just the bracket key, is the one uh, to select things. So if I'm holding control alt or command option, and you'll see, as I select either the left or right bracket, I'm moving up and down. I'm not moving the, the layer, I'm selecting the layer. So let's go to the top breaking news. So also with Control Alt, now when I hit the apostrophe key, you see breaking news uh, changes. Update right here. And you can see the tab is growing. Uh, as I start to type that. The text, you'll see, notice that that red, that's the cursor. I'm still inside here. I still have the text selected. I need to get out of this text and commit to this text. If I hit the escape key, that gets me out of that text. Um, the other keyboard shortcut they've added is to hold control on Windows, command on Mac, and hit the enter key on Windows or the return key. It's a typical carriage return. Uh, I know um, Mac calls that the return key and uh, Windows calls it in the enter key, not the enter key on the numeric keypad on the QWERTY keypad. So let's do that again. So I'll move to select. Um, so let's choose the next text. So to do that, I'm Alt, Control, Alt, um, bracket, or Command, Option, bracket on the Mac, Command, Option, or Control, Alt. And I've selected this. And and enter that. So I've added that new text in there and I've, I've got out of there. So, you know, I'll, I'll put, I'll put the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts in the description down at the bottom uh, for you to follow, but it's, that's how you select it, change it, and then commit that text. Um, now we get to bring things to the front or the back or up a layer and uh, back a layer. So if I wanted, right now this main bar at the bottom is behind the text. If it was in front of the text, it would be hiding the text. Well, sometimes something is in the front and you wanna move it around. So now I, I hold, I just hit control right bracket and it moved the main bar up. Be command uh, right bracket on the Mac hit it again, and I keep moving that up in the list. And eventually it'll hide everything uh, below that. So that's moving that object. Now, what if you had a lot of layers to move this and you don't wanna yeah, hit that keyboard shortcut. If you add the shift key to this, so now it's control shift bracket or command shift bracket on um, the Mac. Now you'll bring it all the way to the front. So you can see main bar is at the top and it's at the bottom. So a quick way to do that. There's also a new graphics arrange menu. And you can see bring forward, 
bring backwards, send backwards, send up and down. So, and there are the keyboard shortcuts right beside it. So that's a new arrange menu. And if you've been using Adobe applications for years, like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, then this idea of bringing things up and down is, is typical. This compositing layer uh, order um, is a typical kind of thing. You need that, especially in something like this, where I've drawn backgrounds and foregrounds and things are slightly different. All right. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. And uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified of all of our new tutorials that come out. And if you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. We have amazing PayPal supporters. You folks are wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, some have been with us for years. Uh, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and a link on the front of the channel. And that'll take you to VideoRevealed.com where you can um, donate and uh, help us out. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep you updated to all the new uh, things that Adobe keeps adding to Premiere Pro.